gentlemen, welcome to the second round here of the first qualification phase of the Gamers Assembly 2021, a competition that has a price put of, guys, 3,000 euro, 1,600 for first, 800 for second, 400 for third, and 200 for fourth position, and one person out of those 64 people who have roughly uh, registered or have shown up today um, can make it into the final because it works like that. We're gonna play a um, a sort of how can I explain that? We play four competitive four cups kind of, and every winner from each cup is going to make it into the final. Yeah, so that is really really cool to see that. And we have the top 16 here or top 32, and only the top eight from those 16 players here. We have one more server with uh, which is covered by Necrum is going to make it onto um, the actual live event. So eight players from those make it here and only one person from those 16 or from those 32 here is the lucky one who is already claiming himself at least 200 euro of course. So um, this is the thing here and of course the people only had three days to practice those maps so a little bit like fast learning if you didn't know live those maps but uh, let's go ahead here and see um, what will happen as um, we have a stacked server here, Bren, Matus, Deska, Dutchie. Those are just the top four names that I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead with Dutchie here. So we play four rounds again on each track. We play all those five maps that are in the map pool. And uh, with that in mind, we have a MotoGP point system. So MotoGP means 25 points for first, 20 for second, then 16, 13, 11, and then down in one intervals till one point. So every 16 players is served at least one point, but of course you want to land in the big boy points in P number one, two, or three. And currently it's looking really good here for Team Eminem. Look at that. Peck, Razor, and Zero leading for Eminem. That could be an ace for them already. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. But now Zyrus getting attacked here from Deska. Has a little bit more speed and also Mathix is coming closer, but Zyro is defending it a little bit, a little bit more speed over the stretch here. Oh, the ending is coming up here. The ending is coming up and it could be the ace and it is actually the ace for Eminem Gaming. The gamers are here, 101.21 and that's an ace and a top three for Eminem. Wow. <laughs> pork. That's a pork. <laughs> so Peck is in first and Razor behind that. So Eminem on the podium here and you can see the point system is really, really, really um, yeah, unforgiving if you get 5th, 6th, 7th, something like that. You have to get 3rd, 2nd or 1st here and then also 4th is kind of okay but not the thing that you really want to aim for but I mean, still not looking that bad for a 13-pointer. You know you get more points, but I mean, if you get 4th or 7th, it's 4 points of a different compared to 2nd or 3rd, which is also 4 points. So you just go way more away with a 2nd position, and that's how it is. You want to get 2nd or 1st here. But now Dutchie is looking very good here to maybe claim even the bronze medal here in this round. But he has Bren, Razor, and Pack ahead of him. Pack is doing really good. Also, very risky but consistent players. I mean, if he did that interview with Eric Hoda, he was saying he was rather uh, using risky lines instead of safe lines, and he's so fast in learning them. So, Pack wins again here with a 101.08. Brand in second, then Razor in third. Dutchie on P4. Then Revzara again with a good performance on fifth position. Deska, Ben, and also Zwan, Zwane, Swarne behind that. So great round for Pack again, and already a lead of 14 points. But yeah, top eight. I mean, with top eight going through it, it's like you have to get one or two first, second positions, and then it's good, you know. I mean, you have to get more than that, but but still, it's it's, it's pretty good for you if you only get that. But it's hard to play the, against those players, of course, as we go into round number three here on Humble Forest by Clem. We've seen already a mistake there. But currently, it is again a brand versus pack. So TMGL versus TMGL, but also Razor, who um, is playing for Eminem Gaming, does it really good. 
But didn't get the best speed out of that. So Peg and Bren are still leading the round here. Bren currently in first. Gets a better angle over that part. And extends his lead to a little bit. But only four hundredths of a second here. Between Peg and Bren. And Bren with a mistake there. So he's dead. And now Peg is in the lead here. Dutchie on P2. Razor on third. And then there's also Matus. Who had a very good ending on that prior part. Um, on the prior match. I wanted to say. But now didn't do it that well. So he couldn't overtake here. And Peg wins it again. Uh, I will disable that, Alex. I'm not gonna do that uh, um, redemption in a cast. But um, thanks for making that one clear. <laughs> so let's go ahead here to the next one. Why should I do that in a cast? That makes like no sense. But what word would you pick? Let me tell. Let, let me do that and now say it more often, even even more often than I've already said it beforehand. So just to trigger you. <laughs> okay, so Pack and Dutchie leading. Good. Good, good, good. It's hard to not say good. I could say decent, but good is shorter. Try to cast curse back. No, I'm not cast cursing pack. Stop that. No, I'm not cast cursing pack. I'm not cast cursing my man. So it is pack leading Razor Dutchy behind that. And uh, pack doing it really well here, as you can see. He's like, yeah, he had getting a really good ending, but also Razor risking it there. Razor almost with the overtake there in the ending. But again, a low 101 by pack seeding the deal and makes it a very, very good. First map for him, 100 out of 100 points for the UK player, for the English player here. Doing it really good. Look at that. He is already 31 points ahead of Razor here, his teammate. Then Dutchie behind that. Then we have Zyro and then Deska. So, uh, very good, actually. Very good. All right. Next map. And it's Royal Cheese. Yeah, Royal Cheese, the Royal Cheese. So speaking of Royal Family or about UK, we have the leader here from the United Kingdom. It is Pack, the man, the myth, the legend. Arguably was the best tech player in 2020. And he can redeem himself yet again. He hasn't really practiced too much. Um, I mean, as every player. So, a fast learning kind of tech competition. Maybe suits him well. So, we're gonna find out here. We have, again, four rounds on each track with one warm-up beforehand. And uh, currently, looks like a good map for Razor and Dodgy as well here. And there's also Pack, of course, who's in the mix. But there's, this is still the warm-up. So, maybe people are risking here. Or just driving safe lines. Or just cruising, you know... We don't know, but that is Royal Cheese by Luoki, which was map number one. Has a little bit of a different uh, mood or mod here with uh, the sunset mod. So the map looks a little bit um, melancholic, if you can say like that. So uh, gives you a little bit of a different mood, like a late summer mood. And this ending, guys, oh man, this ending is so hard to do. And uh, we have seen times, I think 1 minute point 3 was the best time that we have seen in... Uh, Round number one and a one minute point three here in the warm-up from Razor and Pack is a winning time. So that is cool to see. Good luck of fun to the players. And currently it is the eighth position for Mania Ben. Then we have Jeffs on P9, then Nats and Mathix on P10 and 11. So Mathix a player that I wouldn't have expected down there actually. But maybe he hasn't really um, practiced track number um, one that much or it didn't suit him that well. So let's go ahead with the Dutch player here. You can also see Dutchie, his uh, fellow countryman, in the battle there. But let's go ahead with Mathex here and see how he can make that here. Going so close there, but accumulating a lot of speed here. So that is looking good for Mathex to eventually making it into a good position. Here we see one mistake there. I think that was Payne making that mistake. Yes, he's not uh, on the checkpoint anymore. So Mathex is currently on a comfortable sixth position here. Approaching that part, which is really hard to do because you have to squeeze your car between that and... Um, also angle it so it's really hard and can pack win his fifth round in a row actually it's four rounds on each map um 
It's looking grim for him because Bren is sniping him here. But now the ending is deciding it. And Peck, Thomas Cole, ladies and gentlemen, Peck is sniping it again. And he is not ending the streak here. What a finish from Peck. It's unbelievable how this guy is always doing it. It's unbelievable. This guy, man. Like, holy moly, man. This guy is crazy. I can just tell you that. What a mad lad. 125 points for Peck. My god, dude. That is crazy. <laughs> Dude, Pack, man. You're an absolute monster. Okay, let's go ahead with Bren here, who's sitting on a fourth position. So not too bad for him, I would say. Behind that, there is Matus. Zero. And then Deska. And then there's a huge gap already of 10 points between 7th and 8th. But Deska is continuing of making mistakes in that round. Oh, going to that one as well. And then Japso. On 8th position, but look how close that is here. 33, 33, 32, and 31 points. So Javzo is in need of a good round here to uh, or create a little bit of a gap. This turn here, very important to do well. But look who's in first again. It's none other than Pack. And is he surviving the ending? I'm not gonna spectate him, else I would jinx him. So I'm not gonna do that. Matus and Dutchy overtaking Razor in the meantime, who didn't get the best amount of speed. All are going for the risky finish. Pack goes for a good line here, but actually fair. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Pack will hate me. I know that already. God damn it, man. I'm not gonna write that. Oh my god, man. Please. <laughs> oh man. So Dutchy coming closer with that. So Pack only has gotten himself six points in that round. And of course, the 25 pointer was on stake there again. As we see Swarne making a mistake here. So he drops down to P16 because he had to make a mistake. Also, his teammate Heathcliff is only on that 14th position. Nats also not with a good start making mistakes. So, uh, they're out on that battle. We see someone flipping there. I think that was Razor. Yes, it was Razor who flipped there. So, that was the, the thing how you want to do it. But sometimes it just is a jump scare, you know? So, Dutchie in first. Bren and Matus are also here. So, very great speed here for Matus in that section. This part really matters. He goes so close there to the inside. But Pack again with the attack. He wants more than just that second position. He wants first or Riot. We already know that from the Trickmania Grand League. I mean, he has won 13 maps in that. And currently he's leading. But of course, there's still the finish remaining. But Pack survives it here. But what a close round here. Brennan Dutchie also overtaking Matus here for that uh, second and third position. Pack wins it with a 104.49... 1 minute point 49... So not the fastest time, but still good concerning that he did a good comeback here. So yet another first position for Pack. Into the next round we go. Into the next one we go. We see here Pack again having a good, good fight against uh, Bren and Dutchy. So those is the top three at the moment. As we are lurking and lurking or coming closer to the ending here. So uh, Pack is doing it really well. But it's uh, Dutchy with a little bit more speed. A good, good fight, yeah. But actually, we have to we have to declare something. What I have to do if I say a word, of course, after that, um, should I do like five push-ups or I don't know, gift a sub? But gifting a sub would be a little bit too much. But um, yeah, Bren and Dutchy leading here, but Dutchy with a mistake. But Bren will eventually stay ahead here of Pack. So one minute point twenty-two. That's a good time here from Bren. So Pack only only quote unquote with P2. Then we see Zyra behind that on third position. Nats on fourth. Mania Ben getting himself 11 points and Tommy is faking that ending again and again. And look at that. He only has three th seconds to go. And I think that is not enough to finish here. So Tommy will actually throw away points here, even though it's only one point. But still, that's still a lot, you know? That can still help you. That can still help you with that. 
True that. I mean, I was exaggerating by saying that uh, Peck is um, only getting second. It's still a very good position. And I mean, he's more than 50 points ahead. He's at 51 points. He's 51 points in the lead. And bear in mind, Dutchy won server two. That was crazy. Let's see here who is in the top eight. We see Jeffzel, Deska, Zyro, Matus, Razorbran, Dutchy, and of course, Pack. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. But um, I think next next week, the 250 push-ups will be no problem. I don't know. Because till 210, they felt so good. They felt so good. But whatever. We have map number three coming up. That is way more important than my um, push-up challenge. Because um, we have a GA 2021 Spotlight by Busy. That is map number three. And yes, as you can see here, we can see one out of two, one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, four out of four. It's four rounds. It's four rounds on each track. And five maps will be played. Four rounds, I... I five maps. I also said that at the beginning, didn't I? I think I did. But whatever. So we have this map here, Spotlight, with a very difficult ending. That at first glimpse seems to be very easy, but it isn't. As Peck is practicing this turn here. Because it's just so important to get the right angle and the right amount of speed. But maybe he had a misalignment, but you can do that in the warm-up. So let's go ahead here into the first round. We see Peck. Doing it good, gets a diff or it takes a different apex there. So with that, he actually um, got the upper hand and is currently leading. So different, slight different lines here uh, are being picked by the players. But Pack not with the best speed here. Razor making that mistake on the inside. So one last opponent, Ben and Dutchy with a very good start here. Also Zyro doing it very well. So let's go ahead here with the German player here for Eminem Gaming. Let's see how he's doing it. Not getting so much speed out of that hairpin, but of course it's very important to hold your grip on that sausage part because you can get easily being driven more to the left. Uh, but that didn't happen to Zyro there or to Zero. And currently he's on a sixth position. Point four behind though, but still looking good for him as Mathix, Ben, Pack, Bren who makes a mistake and Dutchy are leading. So Zyro can maybe snipe a good position here. Will he make it? Mathix with more speed. And it's actually Mathix who stays ahead here by 18,000. Dutchy wins it over Pack here with a sub 101. That is also a good time. Then uh, Ben and Mathix are behind that. Zyro with a top 5 position. And um, yeah, I mean with that it is um, shuffling up the scoreboard again. Because Mathix is at 67 points and could come closer to Jafso. And also Ben, I mean, 66, 67, 70 points. Those people can still make it. Nuts also could make it. And um, yeah, let's actually go with Nuts here and see how he's doing that. Bonk. Okay. Thank you, Nuts, for the screen time. <laughs> oh, my God. My God, man. The cast is cursed. So let's go with Ben here in this round. Currently occupying P number 10. Doing it pretty well in this part, but rather conservatively could have gotten the extra uh, kilometer per hour here, but still capitalizing from those mistakes from the other um, players that are also playing here. So um, uh, Ben currently on that eighth position, so he needs more than just that. He needs a P3 or P2. P2 would be ideal for him, but currently he is looking good to actually snipe the sixth position here. Will he make it? It's actually Tommy making that mistake. There's so Mania Ben with a double digit amount of points and again Dutchy wins it over pack then Matus and Mathix are behind that so also Mathix with good amount of points here 13 points with this and which is enough to overtake Jeff so who only has gotten himself three points so you can see one good placement and one bad placement from your side and you're already like down somewhere I mean it was a gap of three points and now it's seven points in favor for Mathix and with that going up to P number eight. So Deska and Zyro are also there and could be attacked. So good battle here. Good battle for 
that eighth position indeed. Good battle indeed. <coughs> Third out of four rounds. And Zyro is doing it really well here. They, and we have seen some mistakes here or some minor mistakes. But I'm just going to stay here because he has a gap of 0.1 of a second between him and the seventh position. There will be mistakes happening here from the players as Razor just touches the wall. So Zyro is capitalizing from that as well. So Bren had to release there. So Zyro all of a sudden up to P number four. Good line here from the German player. And you can maybe snipe a... 13 points are here, or maybe even more if someone fills the ending. Dodgy and Mathix, great, huge round for Mathix here. And he's claiming the third position here because it's Dodgy staying ahead. Pack on P1 and then Zyro on that fourth position. Uh, so that's a very good position for him. 13 point points plus for him. And with that, he makes plus 7 points towards the ninth position. So that is really good for him. Yeah, but you don't know that beforehand. But yeah, you can only have one uh, prediction through that. So yeah, it is still pack leading, but Dutchy coming a considerable amount closer. But look at that gap. Look at that. Pack almost has the double amount of points than Bren here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. That is crazy. But Dutchy really feels that map. That is really a really good map for him. And of course, we still have two more maps after that. So Dutchy could maybe snap that first position here and make it happen. Pack currently uh, no, no, nowhere to be seen. So Pack making a mistake. And I think that's one of the first mistakes that I've actually seen from Pack here in that race. And currently he finds himself on P40. Let's go again with the battle here. Razor and also Javzo are in the mix. And also Ben. And it's looked like Dutchy also has made that mistake. So no big boy points for the people already have accumulated a lot of points. So that is very good for the people here. But look at the fight here for first position. It's so close here between all of them. Who's going to take it? It's Ben with the upper hand. Bren with more speed. And Bren will snipe it in the ending. 9,000 of a second. Matus 36,000 behind. And Jeff, so on P4, staying 10,000 ahead of Razor. So what a great round have we witnessed here. Look at that. So many mistakes, but such a close round. There you can see it. All people want that points. And it is actually very close between them. But imagine getting 7th with a 101.48. Wow, that was a great round. That was very, very good. That was very good. Well, very well executed from the players. And of course, you've seen that was Bren taking a little bit more of an outside line in the ending. And going for more speed. So that's why he was overtaking him there. What a round. That was the best round we have seen thus far. And now we have the next map, which is Orhilus by Nevermind and the fellow mapper Kisla. That's a map that is, um, yeah, especially because of um, the ending that I'm going to show you in a minute. It's pretty hard to do because, I mean, you can see the, the blocks here from Trackmania Nations or Trackmania 2 are on this map. And um, you have to really squeeze your car in between here, between this corner, avoid this entry here and also get the right apex to cross that one and then you have to jump into the finish. So that is a very crazy and difficult ending, I would say. But uh, still something you're gonna pick up. So um, I'm expecting people like Pack and Dutchie doing really good here because they're very fast learners when it comes to tech. But um, of course for the lower people, for the lower seeded players, it's currently between Deska and Jeff, so currently they are on P9 and 10. So um, they are about to get eliminated, but there are still eight more rounds, of course. But yeah, you can see it. There is this uh, tight section that I was talking about, and then also the ending jump that you can, of course, mess up. Yes, uh, a risky finish is um, the fact. Yeah, you have to have a risky end, a safe ending. And then also usually every map has like a full speed start, um, which is a tight section, as you can see here, which you have to pass with low kilometers per hour. And there's no jump here and everything. And then it goes into the first drift. So that's usually how attack map is built up. It has a full speed start that is hard to do. And then it has a risky ending. And um, yeah, usually, yeah, not really a theme, but 
I mean, with this track, it comes with a lot of those um, old blocks here, a lot of uh, bankings and a lot of transitional... I mean, it has a lot here. It has really a lot. But the only thing that really sticks out to me is the fact that it has a lot of those um, old uh, platform blocks. Let's say like that. But um, only in the scenery. And I think it's also the impression because you see this part here, this one as well, and then maybe the ending. But I mean, other than that, well, th those are two blocks and then every turn is really unique. So that's uh, maybe not even a theme or something. As Dutchie survives the ending, but Bren with the overtake here. Because Dutchie didn't really have a lot of speed there in the ending. So Bren snipes that first position. Ben on P3, so also good points for him. Razor on fourth. Then we have Payne, also with a good position here. So Payne, I think, first appearance for him in the top five. But um, with that, he is booting up his points or yeeting himself up into P P number 12. So Zyro also dropping a little bit behind. Is currently at 112 points and on P7. And we still have um, seven more rounds to go. Still seven more rounds here for the players. Where they can make it happen. <coughs> so Bren leading Razor and Pack are also in a close fight or in a close proximity here towards him. And then we have uh, Matus behind them. But Pack making a mistake. So Pack is stumbling and is only 30 points ahead here of Dutchie, who has a good round. So that could be the um, the ticket for Dutchie to come way closer than that. He's, of course, only on third. But with every round that uh, Pack makes a mistake, he comes closer and closer. Razor versus Bren is Bren sniping it again. Not this time. Comes closer. But it is uh, Razor winning this round here and well needed 25 points here to come to almost secure the um, third round to him. Because he wasn't safe, he wasn't safe, but people could have overtaken him here. So Pack only with 7 points, but Dochi also only with uh, 16. So um, it's still an catch, a catch up. But if Pack continues to drive like in, on map number 1, 2 and 3, or especially map number 1 and 2, then he is going to be fine. The prediction is still ongoing, of course. As you see a mistake there. Haven't captured who that was. But a small blunder can happen. I mean, it's a big one because it's a full stopping, of course. And currently Swarney also has made a mistake. Goes for the respawn, though. Not sure why. But maybe he wants that speed. I'm not sure if that is worth it. But he decides to go for the respawn. Alright, alright. And currently Matus is leading. Matus is leading ahead of pack. And we have Dutchie and Mathix. So Mathix doing really well on this track by the first look. He gets sniped some points again. Also Zyro here in the fight for that uh, fourth position. Gets a very good ending here. A lot of speed. So he's surviving that. And a good fourth position for him and he will be certainly very happy about that Matus and Dachi and then we have Pack on that uh, third position and Zyro on fourth and Mathix on P5 so very close here yet again Jeffso not slowing down and only four points behind and actually now he's one point ahead of Ben because Ben has gotten himself a bad round but also Deska is in the race so this could all go down to the last map or this will go all down to the last map, I can tell you that. <laughs> so Dutchie has come a bit closer. Only 17 points between them. Of course, the battle for the 8th position is way more important. Uh, who's getting first here? But... Yeah, with that, Ben rocking the Better International Gaming skin. Currently is on P7. Gets a good um, amount of speed at the end. And also Dutchie with a mistake there. So Dutchie is dead in this round. And this is good for Pack and Razor. And also for Bren to snipe some points. Ben currently getting overtaken by Jeffso and Matusa. Jeffso overtaking Ben here. That's the direct battle. And it is Ben and Jeffso now being tied in points. Oh man. But then there's also Mathix. Who's playing Trial. 
and only has got himself one point. So Mathix with that drops down to P9 actually. Oh no, oh no. So not P9 for him and also Zyro. They're coming closer and closer, you know. Matus, Razor, Brand, Dutchie and Pack are about safe, you know. They're almost safe. They're about to be saved or safe. And uh, the others still have to shiver. They still have to shiver and perform. The last map, my favorite map. And it's a map by Anisado. Obscuritas. Very cool to pronounce that. So let's go ahead and see. We have four more rounds. And it's certainly not decided yet. Because Zyro, Jeff, so Ben. And then also Mathix. And uh, Deska are in a fight. Deska, however, has fallen a little bit behind. He's at on P number 10 with 117 points. So it's not looking that good for the Polish powerhouse. A very versatile player. Usually, I would say he's better on dirt than on tech, but he's also able to play that. As you can see, he's fighting it for the top 16 for tonight. So that is definitely a good performance by him. And of course, maybe the, the thing that you could only learn those tracks for three days uh, was really coming for some people into the mind that they couldn't really practice that much. So Deska could maybe make something happen. Looking like a good warm-up for him here. A almost a sub 105 for him. A 105.10 from uh, Deska. And then Matus wins with a 104.9. So I think those are the winning times. Not sure how fair or how much people can push it here. But um, yeah, let's go ahead here with the first round. We have four more rounds and then we have our, our um, quarterfinalists. So Nat's not with the best start, but however, he's also so far behind. He is only at 65 points. So he has gotten himself some points as well as Wolf. But I haven't really seen Wolf too much here in this competition. The Orcs GP player. And also with a slowdown here. So he hasn't really a good round here. So that is not looking too good for Wolf. But also Pack. Look, where is Pack? What is he doing? Wait, where is Pack? Pack is like so far behind. He is um, seven seconds behind. So not sure what happened to him. But he is um, uh, having a full stopping. So uh, Razor and Matus are in the fight. And then we have Dutchy on that third position. But look at the speed from Razor. Oh my god, that was so, so clutch here. From Razor, look at the speed from him, from the M&M player overtaking Dutchy here in just in a blink of an eye. And I just know why this track is the best because this ending reminds me really of this one from Zero to Hero map. Maybe you guys remember it. Um, we had this finish upside down. We had to jump to the right. I don't remember the name, but maybe someone of you um, know that track. But so many good memories on this track. And wow, man, what an ending there from Razor, 104.90. And um, yeah, Peck and Dutchy tearing away or tearing 20 points apart. And also Jeffso is currently on ninth position. 140, 143, 144. And then we have Zyro who has gotten himself 154 points now in total. So that's very good for the German player, as you can see here. But making that mistake, he just when I praise him, he makes that mistake. And with that, he can... He, now everything is even again. So Zyro with a mistake and the Cassus Curse is kicking in. Oh no, Zyro dropping down to P15 here. So that is not good. And we can see Ben and Jeffso both having a good round. Jeffso is in dire need of that. And with that, he could come closer towards Zyro. He was, of course, 14 points ahead of him. Deska is still there. But it's uh, I think Dutchy was that who made a mistake. I've just seen a D there. 
But uh, yeah, let's take a look onto the speed again. Razor could maybe do it again very well. Then we see Ben, Deska. Ben going for the safe finish, actually. So he loses on so many positions. Oh my god, that wasn't... That was... No, that wasn't good. That wasn't good here for Ben. Oh my, that wasn't really good. Um, it's feet, uh, dang, and hello, man. How's it going, mates? Nice seeing you again. So, I'm not sure why he went for that safe finish there, Ben. But he had to risk it. He had nothing to lose there. I mean, with that, of course, he doesn't really lose too much. Because Zyro is still at 156 points. But no, Ben with a mistake. Ben with a mistake. And he's out here. He's out on that round. And it's... Oh, no. That's not good. This is not good here for Ben. And he will be out of that competition here if he... Or about this... This step here, and oh my god, Massa with the raid. Yo, thank you so much, Dennis, for your raid. You guys just joined in time here for the decider here on um, this uh, last map that we are playing. Thank you so much, Massa, for your raid. Um, I Too bad that you went out, so you got ninth. Oh my god, no, man. That is not good, man. But uh, I think you can still make it on the next steps. I mean, you had not a lot of time to really practice those maps. So still GG's from my side. Ninth position is harsh, but um, yeah. Too bad, Dennis. Too bad. You got some practice in with that. And also Jeffso here is getting a good position. So Jeffso with 13 points that he can... He overtakes um, Mathix and also Zyro with 11 points here. So Ben and Mathix looks... They look about to... Yeah, okay, no. Well, Deska, yeah, is uh, only getting one point. So, Mathix still is in because Ben is really struggling here. He had it. He really had it. But now he's 10 points away. And we have one more round here to, de to decide it all. There's one more round. Where we're gonna decide it. And... Um Let's see who's claiming victory. Pack is at 334 points and is more than 40 points ahead of Dutchy. So he is second. Then we have Bren on P3. Then Razor, Matus. Everything being decided. But let, let's take a look who's getting P6. It is not Zyro who made a mistake. But he is almost safe. I mean, Ben needs to blast out around here by the looks of it. But uh, Ben is currently yeah only on that 7th uh, position. He needs a 1st position or a 2nd position. But of course... He has thrown away that ending on that uh, round number two. And that's why he lost so many points that he was saving it. Maybe he couldn't risk it because he didn't have enough speed. But Ben is not looking that good here. Ben is not looking good. He is losing it. He has made a mistake. So that's GG's for him. He is probably... He's unfortunately out for this day. But um, Jeffso, Mathix, Zyro and then Matus. Razor, Bren, Dutch, and Pack are through. And that concludes the first or the, the, the second round here of the evening. GG's.